Ugh. Oh, I made it. I made it. No problem. Feeling a little flush, though. <laughs> I'm going to visit Marie and Philip, who over the last few years have bought a new house, done a retro renovation on the main floor, and started a family. So as new parents, they're thinking about their financial future, and they want my help to update an old-fashioned bathroom with a retro twist so it works for their future, and they want to do it now. You know what I mean. So our bathroom does not work for <laughs> so many reasons. It's just a mess. It's really, really outdated and we're not really sure what to do with it. I'd like to see it represent our style a little better. Yeah, we've done some work on the rest of the house and so it would be really nice to tie that bathroom into everything else. Hello! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. And who's this guy? This is Arthur. Arthur! Nice to meet you, Arthur. Yes, He's happy to hi. meet you. Hey, you're a happy guy. Hey, let's take a look around. Yeah, Looks like you guys have done some work here. Yes. Definitely. Oh, nice. I like this. Thank you. You guys have a fun style. Oh, and I like what you've done in here, too. Thank you so much. It gives me a good sense of what you guys are into, what your design style is. So if we're going to do some work, we want to, you know, continue the theme consistently. Definitely. With what we do. So why don't we go upstairs and take a look and see what we can do. Oh, okay. Yeah. There it is. But, yeah. Yeah, this definitely hasn't been touched in 30 years. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, so uh, a lot of work. There's a lot of work. The yeah. vanity's outdated, the wallpaper. It's hard to, you know, revive that wallpaper. That's right. The floors, I mean, we could, we could definitely either pull them up or put something over top of them. And the tile surround, although dated, it's almost coming back, and with what I've seen downstairs That's of your right. design style, I think we can make the hunter green work. I think we can tackle this in a day. In fact, I'm excited to tackle this in a day. We are too. I'll bet by the time you wake up from your nap, there'll be a whole new washroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this cleared out. Bye-bye bathroom. All right, are we ready to do the toilet removal? We're gonna keep the tile surround because it's in good shape. Yep. Tiny bit of patchwork to do where the grout's a little loose, but the tiles feel solid. They're just dirty. So we should give it a really good clean. I think if we scrub this, replace the shower head, replace the handles, I think it's gonna look pretty good and that hunter green will go well with the fixtures we're putting in here. Totally fine. That's definitely retro. I've never said this before, but this vent needs a haircut. Okay, we're looking pretty cleared out. It's about time to put this place back together. So, quick update where we're at with everything. We've pulled everything apart. Yeah. Shower. Walls are in good condition. Okay. Tiles have a calcium buildup on them, as do the faucet handles and the trim kit. So mm -hmm. we're gonna try to clean everything out, get it shining again. Yeah. But you'll have chrome in there. The door hardware that you guys have installed upstairs is like a matte black. Yeah. Yes. Are you guys okay if I continue with a little bit of matte black on some of the accessories, like towel bars and stuff like that? Or do you want it all polished chrome? No. no. It's fine if you mix and yeah. match. You're okay with a little yeah. mix and match? Yeah. yeah. Right. I feel He's like good. you guys do a little bit of mixing and matching. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna keep going. We're sweating up there, but we're getting through <laughs> it. We're good. Thanks, guys. Doing a little work around so that we don't have to move some plumbing in the bathroom, keeping it simple. And I want to run this newer, nicer baseboard. Um, so I'm going to drop the baseboard down around that excussion plate that's coming out of the wall where the plumbing goes to the toilet. What I'm going to do is do a series of 22 and a half degree cuts in an attempt to maintain the profile, but drop down the baseboard around the excussion plate, then I'll cut off the bottom of the baseboard so that it sits flush on the ground, 
and you can kind of see how this is going to work now. I'm going to put it together with some miter glue, which only takes a few seconds. So now I have my custom section of baseboard here. It's a lot more affordable and faster for me to do these four cuts than it is to get a plumber in here moving the plumber around. So that looks like a real finish there. And that's pretty much the discussion on how to avoid the excussion when you're rushing to get a flushing. That'll do it. Okay, well, I'll tell you guys what I absolutely love is that you guys love doing DIY projects. You've done some work around the house. Mm -hmm. And based on you know my sense of what you guys enjoy here, I have a small DIY project for you. Awesome. So what we're starting with is a couple small quarter inch sheets of plywood. What we're going to do is we're going to do a couple custom pieces of artwork. Cool. We're gonna to try to transfer the ink from a print onto the wood using this polycrylic wood finish. I knew you guys love traveling, right? Yes. yes. Where's your favorite place to go? Hawaii. I love Hawaii too. Yeah. So this is perfect. That's Surfing, awesome. palm yeah. trees, sunsets. Totally. Even though, you know, because you guys just bought a house, you're doing a renovation, you just had a baby and the world has changed, you're probably not gonna be traveling a lot. No, but we hope to travel eventually, so. Maybe we can plan for it. This is a yeah. good time to plan for That's traveling right. for the future. So have you thought about how your finances have changed then? Is it a struggle, like all this at once? A house, a baby? Our priorities have shifted for sure, but we're trying to kind of keep everything balanced, put a little bit everywhere so that we can still do what we like to do. Absolutely. But take care of those things that we have to. You should really talk to a CIBC advisor about your goals and they can customize a plan for you that balances things like a line of credit and a mortgage and renovation expenses. That's great to know, because it, it would be nice to have some support in figuring all that out, because there's just a lot of pieces now to, to think about. And you guys are eager and you're go-getters, and I like that you're already thinking about your retirement and your future, so it's not rocket science to sit down and say, we want to retire in 30 years, I'm a teacher, I'm an entrepreneur, and we want to reverse engineer our finances so that we know how much we need to save now mm -hmm. so that our son can get a great education yeah. so that we can get to Hawaii a couple times and we can pay down our mortgage so that eventually when we move there we're in a good position mm -hmm. okay so I'm gonna just show you on the first one then you guys can do the second one together we're gonna just sponge it on a nice uh, easy finish you have to do the whole thing even though the image is only part of it okay let's see put it on okay. face down that's good, okay. This is gonna look good. Cool. Give it a little flattening out. <laughs> All right, let's let this retro artwork dry a little bit. We're gonna have to wet it and rub it off afterwards. So mm -hmm. I'd say in about two to three hours, you okay. guys can go ahead and sponge the paper. You rub it off with your hands, the ink will stay on, awesome. and then a finished coat. And by the time these are done, I should be ready for them upstairs. Awesome, thank Sound you so good. much. Thank you. Thanks guys, good job. Good. It almost looks slightly opaque. Yeah, so it looks like you've actually painted on the wall. It looks like it's been painted on the wall, but we can peel it off if we don't like it. The old wax seal still on there. Just when you think you're number one, you're back into number two. Okay, scrubbing bubbles, it's time to remove 25 years of grime and give us back a shine. The plan is to save the shower tiles. So we're gonna remove dirt, we're gonna remove grime, we're gonna help to prevent a little mold and mildew here. And ideally, this hunter green, when it's shiny, is gonna go great with our retro design. These walls look brand new. Look at that! All right, we're working quickly but quietly because Arthur's now asleep. We're almost ready to show Marie and Philip what we have done here. Feeling pretty good about it. 
Got to get rid of some fingerprints. I'll use some Windex to make sure this is streak free. And then I will finish putting the final touches on this place. So this bathroom is retro, but up to date. Bingo. <sighs> <sighs> we are done. Amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Let me show you what we did with this washroom. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks totally different. This looks like, I can't believe it's the same bathroom. <laughs> this is great. Isn't that kind of fun? This yeah. is so fun, That's this wonderful. gallery wall, or like, I don't even know what you'd call it. I, they're like abstract decals. Yeah. yeah right? Love we it. found the hunter green to pull from that's, the existing tiles, right? So yeah. cool, it goes so well together. Yeah, beautiful. So we got brand new vanity. Yes, yeah. I love that, that it's one piece, yes. easy to clean. Yes. So I designed these uh, drawers so that you've got maximum storage, but Amazing. you still have room for the sink drop here, right? Yeah. Beautiful. We did something fun with the floor, but simple. Yes. Right? Looks good. The color scheme is perfect. Yes. Like everything is amazing. We have a new light fixture. It's That's a, a really bit retro, cool right? Yes. Yeah. I like that a lot. And the black accents with the chrome. Which is what amazing. we decided on. In the bathtub and tub surround area, I regrouted about a dozen of the tiles near the bottom where the grout was starting to come loose. Okay. Look at the hardware. I put a new shower head oh, on. Oh, a nice new shower head. Oh, yes. amazing. When you That's have kids, cool. you have to be able to take the shower head down and we'll spray them down. That's yeah. right. You're happy? Yep. Beautiful. I have no words. You have no words. Wow. It's not like me. <laughs> <laughs> and every time you're on the toilet, you can look at our ink DIY project and <laughs> dream about the next time you get to go on vacation, because I got news for you. It's going to be a while. It's probably going to be a while. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You're welcome.